Hi, this is Maginoni, and I got some comic reviews for you. We have um, Avengers number 29, AVX 10, and Wolverine and the X-Men number 15. Let's do AVX first. Now, this is uh, Bruder Baker and Kubert's uh, chance to take over this book. And overall, I thought this was, in a way, I guess you can say it's going back to being good again. And it's really frustrating how, at least for me, how it one issue it's good, the next issue it's bad, the next issue it's good again, the next issue it's like, ugh, and then it starts picking up again. I realize this is definitely influenced heavily by the fact that they have different writers, different artists working on the, every single issue, no consistency whatsoever, and it's really getting, really getting frustrated. Now, we have several things going on and there's a lot of inconsistency in, in all of these three titles here. Now, this issue here, you have, for example, Professor Xavier saying, never call me again to Cap, you know, because, you know, getting involved, how he didn't want to take down his students type thing. Then in this issue here, you have, uh, let's see if I can find it, you have Professor X with Cap right here, and he's directly involved with Cap. Then you have Professor X Xavier here at the school of Wolverine's, you mean Jean Grey's school of gifted youngsters, and he's definitely getting involved. So it's like you have Bendis, Aaron, and Bruder Baker, and none of these three people can figure out what Professor X Xavier is supposed to be doing. And I think that this that's the sad thing. There's nobody's paying attention. Now, anyways, going back to this, there's some really good parts to this. You have fantastic artwork, and you have uh, Emma Frost going off the deep end. You have a nice exchange between Emma and Magneto about you know, like, Magneto's trying to say, hey, you know, what you're doing is wrong, and then Emma's like, well, before you say that I'm doing wrong, why don't you look at your laundry list? And all, I thought that part was good. I think you have a nice turn of events here with the mutants bowing down to Emma, basically worshipping her as a goddess. Um, then you have a nice little battle between uh, Cyclops and the Avengers that are left, and you have Hope really getting powerful and starting to turn the tide. Uh, with um, you know the battle, and it basically it forces Cyclops to go get help, and uh, I think that part's really starting to get strong, and I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen next. Now, with the um, the Avengers issue here, I mean I like Simon Simonson's artwork, but I think at times it's I I don't really like it at all, and. This is the time that I don't like it, and part of it's the the mouths. You know, they remind me of land too much, and that drives me up the wall. But anyways, what we have here is the Avengers, namely Spider Woman, saying, "Hey, you know, in order to take down the X Men, you have to take out their telepaths first. So they're trying to get Rachel. So the thing to look at here is you have Rachel. She's fighting the Wolverine, Kid Gladiator, and everybody, and the, it's basically you even have Namor here." And Namor's been beaten a long time ago. And uh, Xavier basically puts everybody to sleep. It's a very anticlimactic fight. It's really boring. And there, I guess you can say the one really cool part, or part that I really liked, was um, Kid Gladiator flying into Giant Man's eye. I really liked that part. Everything else is completely out of continuity. And it's, it's a shame. And I, and I understand that part of it's due to the fact that the shipping times of these books, but I'm like, you know, if you couldn't put this book out earlier, maybe you shouldn't have done it. Maybe you should have done something else instead. This one also, is, if you look at the grand scheme of things, it's confusing. You have Hope sitting there at Wolverine School. I mean, she's not supposed to be there. She's hidden away. I don't see when, when this could have happened, type thing. I mean, because you would have thought that well, you know, with all the telepaths, they would have found her pretty darn easily at the school, Jean Grey School of Gifted Youngsters. Now, if you take that part out of the equation, there are some good parts, 
Gru's interaction with um, Iron Man and how he figures out something, dramatically changes things, and Tony's like, hey, do you want an unpaid internship? I'll get you whatever you want. Why don't you come work for me? Um, then you have uh, Kitty Pride and Iceman making goo-goo eyes at each other, and a really, really jacked up relationship between Husk and Toad. I guess you can say love is blind. And the really disappointing thing is, at the end, you have Kid Gladiator being forced to leave. And that that really annoyed me, because I really like Kid Gladiator as a character, and I, I hope they somehow managed to bring him back. Um, so, what we have, like I said, is it's a jumbled mess of things. I'm enjoying. I enjoyed large parts of this book. Other parts I don't like. And... From what I can tell, as bad as this was, it seems like this issue is, is first, then you're supposed to read this, and then stuff happens in between, I should say, stuff happens in between, and then this, and then this issue. That's what I'm kind of gathering is going on. But at the same time, they make references to... Um, the land of kung fu in this issue. So if that's the case, then I'm not sure when this is supposed to take place. I I, I really think what Marvel should be doing with these massive crossovers is they really need to part, start numbering them. You know, one, two, three. That way we know what order they're supposed to be in. But I guess if they did that, it would be easier for us to figure out that they screwed up in continuity. So let's give you guys a free book, shall we? And what I'll do is I'll put up um, some of these others on the Facebook link that's down below. So anyways, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Rate the video over down. Let me know what you think. More reviews later. So until next time.